Hello. I'm Gallant Gutfright, your host on the seventh dimension. Tonight's story is called The Red Hat of Pat Ferrick. But I must add a warning. The BBC do not advise that you watch the unfolding of this dark tale if you are in any way of an erotic disposition. <laughs> Office life. It seems so ordinary, doesn't it? So mundane. What is the worst that can happen in an ordinary publisher's office? Susie loses the tipex. Lucy forgets to fax that contract to Stuttgart. The wrong package is DHL'd to San Francisco. Nothing sinister in an ordinary publisher's office. Is there? Is there? <laughs> or is there? <laughs> Jonathan Haley, a nice guy. One of the world's good scouts, governor of his local primary school, Rotarian, chief high coven priest of the Amersham and District Satanic Abuse Club, an ordinary, decent British citizen. Every day is much like the day before for publisher Jonathan Hady, except for today. Except for April the 29th of August. Oh, yes. Except for today. Louise is out of the office flirting with Ted from marketing while she makes Jonathan's mid-morning cup of coffee. He might as well answer the telephone himself. For once. Hello? I want to speak to Jonathan Hady. Hady here. You have the red hat of Pat Ferrick. The what? Don't play games, Mr. Hady. You have just seven hours to return it to its rightful owner. Shall I put you through the marketing? <laughs> Sorry I took my time, Mr. Hady, but Ted from marketing was licking my breasts. <laughs> oh, well, uh, the wrong number, probably. Except they asked for me. Something about a, uh, about a hat. A hat? Yes, the, uh, the hat from Port Merrick or something. Not Pat Ferrick? Yes, that's it. The hat of Pat Ferrick. Did they say what, what colour? Ah, uh, the red hat, I think they said. Oh, no, not red, please! Oh, not red! No, 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 no! Oh, my God, Louise! <laughs> Haiti speaking. Police? Police? Yes, Caroline Haiti is my wife. What kind of accident? Oh, my God! Squashed! In the name of heaven, what by? A hat? What kind of hat? A sort of maroony, sort of burgundyish crimson. Damn it, man, you mean red. If it's red, say so. A red hat... From the dust on the brim, it could only come from one place, you say. Thank you, Inspector, but I think I know already. It's Sergeant, actually. Pat Ferrick. <laughs> the red hat of Pat Ferrick. Wake up, Mr. Hady. It's your coffee. What? I, the, the hat, the pat, the, the, the red Ferrick of, of, of hat pat. Huh? <laughs> Dreamy again, Mr. Hady. I don't know. <laughs> but it was all so, so real. I... Oh, what's the matter with me? I, I think I need a holiday. Oh, there's a man on his way up to see you. Said he's bringing the red hat of somewhere or other. No, it, 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 it can't be. It's, it's happening just as... But the, the, the red hat of where? Speak, girl. Well, Pat somewhere or other, I think he said. No, 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 no. The red hat of Pat Ferrick. Here in Amersham. No! <laughs> Something wrong, my dear. <laughs> up and he just... Oh. Yeah. Well, in that case, I had better take the red hat of Pat Ferrick elsewhere, hadn't I? The red hat? That's why Mr. Hedy jumped. What is it? Oh, just the manuscript of a story, my dear. A wholly improbable tale. It concerns a young publisher who has a dream about a hat. And when he awakes, 
But it is nothing but fancy. It would never really happen, could it? Could it? Or could it? Perhaps it could. Or could it? Good night.